from the Weather NorCal Command Center, this is your afternoon update. Your weekend weather update is made possible by Caltrans District 2. Hey folks, good afternoon. Hope you've had a nice weekend so far. I'm going to step off here real quick and show you the satellite from 22,000 miles up. That little batch of clouds and moisture off the coast is the next round of more robust precipitation moving in here over the next several hours. Definitely a cool regime. That really is the best way to put it here with those showers and maybe even some snow in those upper elevations. That much is for sure. But widespread 40s is the story for the highs. 50s in the valley and along the coast, not much warmer than that, right? Definitely sound like a broken record in this respect. Also want to mention that we do have this winter storm morning in northern portions of Trinity County as well as southern portions of Siskiyou County. As expected, I'm really not surprised that they uh, you know, escalated from that watch to this warning. And of course, those warnings still are in effect from eastern Shasta County to portions of Tahama Butte County and Plumas County. But out towards Portola and up to, uh, up to Lassen County, they've changed that to a winter weather advisory, right? So these go through Wednesday. This goes here for the next little bit. So we're going to watch that. And it's no surprise to see why they upgraded this, by the way. Taking a look at the future cast, this key corridor with those snow levels at 3,500 to 4,000 feet, that's going to cause some trouble here. So we'll watch that. Of course, down below, we're talking rain. And of course, we've been seeing reports of hail out of the last couple of days. So if the conditions are favorable, wouldn't shock me to see some of these updrafts do the same thing at times. But nevertheless, just unsettled, some rumbles of thunder mixed in here. That's the situation as expected as we head really over the next 24 hours as we head into the first portion of the work week. So starting our Monday out, it's going to be the same thing, right? I don't think we're going to be drying out just yet. We've still got more rain to come before we really dry out, right? Now, this is kind of that key corridor where the most rainfall. Looks like we've still been watching that axis build here, but still, look at this south portion of Siskiyou County. Look out towards Plumas County, eastern Shasta County. Look out at Modoc County. We're definitely talking snow at, like I said, 3,500 to 4,000 feet. I think the snow levels are going to start increasing just a little bit as we head through the next few days, so probably four to 4,500 feet as we head through this Monday, Tuesday time frame, but after that, it's not really going to matter because the stuff starts to clear out. And really, by Tuesday, that's the beginning of this nice clearing trend. Notice we're starting to see less cloud cover across the north state. Pretty much no rainfall by Tuesday evening. And then by Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, hey, check this out. This stuff completely sloughs off. We're going to be pretty much dry for our Thanksgiving. That little impulse of energy that I was talking about this morning and yesterday, that looks like it is gone on the most recent model. So we're not going to have any issues to wrap the week up and honestly probably heading into next weekend as well. But maybe a few clouds at worst, right? So I think we're doing good. We're shaping up for a better week, at least in terms of the outdoor conditions over the next seven days. But over the next couple of days, so this is through Tuesday when that rainfall and snowfall ends, well, here's the accumulation. This is rainfall up here in Del Norte County. Like I said, there's that key axis of where the precipitation is probably going to accumulate the highest. We're probably talking two, three inches of rain out here in portions of Del Norte County, as well as southern portions of Siskiyou County below 3,500 to 4,000 feet. But of course, you got that winter storm warning extending from Trinity County to southern Siskiyou County. So we're probably going to be talking travel impacts and pretty notable accumulations there over the next couple of days. So let's keep that in mind, as well, of course, down there in the East Mountains on the east side of the valley. So definitely still robust. I don't think we're going to be quite as impacted by this as we were over the last 10 days from that craziness. But still, yeah, this is definitely something to keep in mind. So let's go ahead and walk through county by county, city by city. Next couple of days, there's those chances, right? But hey, we're warming up a little bit and clearing out as we head through Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Fortunately, our Thanksgiving is not going to be impacted by any inclement weather or anything like that. So kind of lucked out in that respect. Here along the coast, it's the same story. Again, a few rumbles of thunder looking possible, if not likely, through tomorrow with some of that energy moving in. And then by Tuesday, there's showers still kind of lingering, but they'll be out of here by the evening. And then the rest of the week, looking pretty good out there. Kind of gusty there, by the way, out of the south, 11 miles an hour right now, and here through today and tomorrow. Of course, as we head through the next couple of days up here further inland, you're still close enough to get that impulse of energy. It's not going to matter too much where you're at because we're still unsettled. But hey, yeah, look at that. Upper 50s, lower 60s. I'll take that. That is definitely a nice trend. Now, out here in Siskiyou County, like I said, snow level is going to be increasing just a little bit over the next couple of days, but temperatures will be rising back up to the upper 40s and clearing out through the midweek here. So, you know what? If you've been tired of the cooler, like 30s, eh, you know what? Just wait a few days, and I think you'll be in for a nice surprise. Out here in Modoc County, it's the same story. You might have a stray chance here lingering through their Tuesday time frame, but listen, I think we have a nice end to our week and next weekend to look forward to widespread lower 40s is the story as we head through tomorrow. Eastern Mountains, it's the same situation. 
I do think snow levels, right, are going to be rising 4,500 to 5,000 feet out here, so they're going to be a little bit more elevated. But again, we still do have some of those areas in that winter storm morning through early Wednesday morning. So let's keep that in mind, right? Widespread 40s is the case for tomorrow and the next day and the next day and the next day and the next day, right? We don't see quite as much temperature variability. That's what I'm getting at out here. In the same situation for the valley, really. But the general trend for most of us is kind of upwards, right? Slowly but surely over the next seven days, these mid 50s might turn into some lower 60s as we head towards the end of the week there. Showers still lingering the next couple of days out here, but hey, by Wednesday, I think that's mostly out of here. I think we're doing good. Lakehead, down to Red Bluff, it's the same situation. A few 60s probably going to creep in by next weekend, and I think the rain's out of here by Wednesday for pretty much most of us across the area. So, ever since it sounded like a broken record, I think the summary of this really is a couple more days of showers, rain, snow, everything in between. And then Wednesday, really Tuesday night, starting to clear out.